yes there's plenty going on in this little world of ours let's see what's cooking here comes a bit of news a hurricane put the electric power plant out of business at amesbury massachusetts that put farmer woodson's electric milking machine on the blink he called for help and fire chief george mcdougall and his men came a running the fire department milked the 50 cows by hand and that's what i call pulling together boys facts magazine tells about the most expensive kiss on record a lady dove sat on a high tension wire her boyfriend sat on another wire and then they kissed and whammo the powerhouse in the town of phoenix arizona went out of business for half an hour the doves oh well maybe they're just as happy are you listening girl you may know your reading writing and arithmetic but what do you know about this sure it's a man but is he the right man needn't worry about that anymore the mandolin college chicago has just begun a new class on how to choose a husband how to keep him and how to spend his money as if you didn't know listen shh fellas and girls here's a little secret it's just between you and me and the ticker the war department built this one out john suppose you were here in london and jane suppose you were here in florida about four thousand miles apart and you want to get hitched the war department says you can stay right where you are and get yourselves married in tulsa oklahoma by mail and it's simple too john writes an i do letter to oklahoma jane does the same and oklahoma says i pronounce you man and wife the only thing left is the distance between you and jane the war department hasn't any idea what to do about that but cheer up kids we'll have television soon taking candy from a baby is supposed to be the height of something or other but here we have a bunch of kids in mrs jt wright's nursery in dallas texas who were robbed yes robbed a low down burglar got away with a box of 200 diapers well anyway that's one thing they can't pin on the kids talking about inventions here's something brother the united states patent office has just issued a patent on an overcoat not just an ordinary coat of course this one is heated by electricity. The warming current of comfort comes from a bunch of batteries which you carry in a suitcase. Hope the inventor provides a little trailer with a fire extinguisher. You know, just in case of a hot seat. Calling all fishermen. Yep, you fellas with your rods and reels. The Wildlife Service at Washington, D.C. is a coming out with a new radar gadget. This doohickey will locate schools of fish, tell you which way they're going, and let you know their exact size. The Army Air Force has published a book on what to do if you happen to fall into the water and meet up with a shark. Under rule one, the trick is to make a quick swing at the shark, slap the water around and holler like, it, like blazes. Now that's supposed to ruin the shark's self-confidence. If that doesn't work, grab the shark's dorsal fin and hang on until he gets tired. If that doesn't work, haul off and give him a swift kick in the nose. A shark can't take it on the snoot. There's nothing to it. Here's a very, very sad piece of news. A gasoline truck pulled up to Walter Sacchieri Station in Detroit. The driver connected the hose and pumped gas into the pipe, but the gasoline gauge set empty. Now let's take a look under the sidewalk. This is the station's gas tank, and this is where the gas went, right into the sewer. 864 gallons of good gas right into, well, let's draw a curtain over this sad episode. Next time you go to New Jersey, in the neighborhood of West Orange, look up a fellow named Coffing Arslanian. He's a Yale graduate. 
don't know the exact address, but he lives among the branches of a giant oak tree. His home has a floor and a ceiling, but his wife couldn't get used to no walls. So she left, and our friend is still up a tree. Send about your pinup girls. Well, fellers, here's a gal and what a gal. Just listen to this. She's a volunteer, 25 years old, worth $7 million, and what a scrapper. She was in the sneak attack on Pearl Harbor. Got herself badly injured, too. Spent a year getting over that. Then she did her stuff at Normandy on D-Day, and again at Cherbourg. She's got plenty of service ribbons and the Purple Heart. Who is she? The battleship Nevada. What a gal, what a gal. How's your memory? Who said these words? We can, we will, we must. Yes, FDR, you said it.